Welcome to Algonquin Park on Hiking with Kathleen. Hope you stay with us as we travel along a few trails today in hopes of seeing some interesting footage. That is a really good viewing one for animals. So we thought we'd try it out. well-marked trails. This one has lots of those blue markers. Great job Algonquin.
Well, Shannon is hunting mushrooms. We'll make a stop here. This is hemlock. Hemlock is a coniferous tree that has flat needles. So it makes it a little bit easier to identify because when you take a needle, it doesn't, they don't roll in your fingers. I know that wasn't a good demonstration, but okay, and they've got a light colored under surface hemlock okay so we haven't had any luck seeing big animals however this is one confirming detail this is this is a trail that they use I'm going to show you it and then we'll identify it afterwards definitely a moose track and uh, so I put my hand there <clears throat> to give you a bit of a size comparison, uh, much larger than the ones that I'm used to seeing back in southwestern Ontario for white-tailed deer. Large animals for sure. <laughs> We're still on Mizzy Trail. It's beautiful. Nice variety around this wetland. It's getting warm out here. We started, it was, oh, I don't know, about 10 degrees when we got in the truck this morning. The high today is about 22 or 23 degrees Celsius. So I don't know what it is right now. We're at about 10, 15 in the morning. I've been hiking for about an hour and a half on this trail. quarters of the way around this trail. It's been a really interesting trail. The fact that it goes all the way around Mizzy Lake gives you a good opportunity to see animal habitat. Yeah, I know we didn't see large animals. We always hoped we would. But we know we're in their habitat. And we can account for moose because of the hoof size we, or the yeah the hoof imprint we saw. Anyway, it's been really interesting for us.
second checking out these mushrooms that <laughs> look like they have a coat of varnish or lacquer on them. Okay, so we've been in this situation before where you, you underestimate how long it'll take you to finish a 10 kilometer trail. I mean, there's lots of uh, ups and downs to this one. So, and we stopped a lot. Took a lot of mushroom shots, <laughs> things of that nature. So, anyway, we know that we're about halfway finished. We thought we were more than halfway finished a while back with one of the other markers. But, that was not the case. So, that's okay. It's a beautiful trail. There are lots of open spaces. And when we saw lots of open spaces for Mitzi Lake, Mitzi Lake, we thought we were coming close to the end of the trail. <laughs> but that was wrong. So anyway, we're going back down. We're going back into the woods. And uh, we realized lunch is not going to happen at lunchtime today. It's going to happen a lot later. But it does give us a chance to hopefully see wildlife since that's what we've been keeping our eyes open for in the hopes of being able to video or photograph interesting things. Okay. So this is quite the steep here. So for uh, those that saw us do Peak Mountain in Lake Superior, <laughs> there are parts of this trail that are bringing me flashbacks of that. Anyway, that's okay. <sighs> Temperature is supposed to top out at 23 degrees. Since we're in the forest, that's fine. It was really warm when we were out in the open. But uh, it's good in here. It's good in the forest. We would like to have had our lunch with us. But we realize that's not a good plan. Because you don't want to become bear food bait. And we know that they're very hungry at this time of year in the fall when they're trying to pack on extra calories to be able to hibernate or semi-hibernate from November to April. So you don't want to bring along snacks when you're on trails that are in bear country. So that's fine. Not providing many updates. Do we look more weather-worn? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, it's about 30 minutes later. And, uh, we're looking forward to lunchtime. <laughs> but it is beautiful in here. I mean, it would have been great if we could just bring our lunch, sit down at one of those spots where you could view uh, Mitzi Lake, but obviously that's not a good idea. A bit risky to do that. So, anyway, we're plugging along. And it might be that we're not going to do any other trails today. Because this one's been a really good one. But there's other things we want to do, including going to the um, art gallery. Shannon's very interested in that. And uh, we both want to go to the visitor center see what interesting exhibits are there and interesting things might present themselves for purchase. So anyway, we'll check in with you a little later, but just uh, giving you a chance to see that beautiful weather, lots of sunshine, warm enough where there's sweat on my brow. Okay. Algonquin does a great job with marking their trails. 
because there were some spots we traveled along where you're right on the edge of the lake and you hope your footing holds and you're not sure if somebody else just cut a trail that allowed them to see things and they didn't then we saw there were blue markers leading us out of that area so that was nice because we were past the point of wanting to explore new terrain <laughs> Right? That's for scale. I don't know. Maybe a member of the mink family. Or the weasel family, I mean. Um, so, we just passed a couple. And Shannon asked, because they were coming the opposite way, how long before we get to the parking lot, since that is presumably where they came from. And uh, they said about an hour. Okay. That means by the time we will have finished this, it will have been five and a half hours. Oh my God. Yeah, five and a half hours, eh? Shannon made some, I don't know, remark that I don't get to choose the trails in the future. And I don't know. I just found this one really, really interesting. And really rugged. Sort of like Pete Mountain in Lake Superior. So, anyway, we're getting a good workout. And it's very be beautiful in here. So, we're very fortunate it's the fall because the temperatures are more tame and biting bugs are almost non-existent and that's because of the cooler temperatures at night that's kind of knocked their numbers down so anyway we uh, have a little bit longer to go on our journey we've decided we're not going to stop and take more uh, images in her case photographs in my case videos unless of course there's something really interesting like bear moose wolf or other animal. So anyway, that is the update. Those are big droppings. Moose droppings. We didn't give you anything to determine the scale. So I'll go back and I'm going to put my boot print beside it so you can see. Much larger than deer droppings. Bigger animal. <laughs> Looks like the work of a pileated woodpecker because of the shape, the oval shape in the home stretch. So we're giving her back a little bit of a break, sitting out here in a meadow and uh, we think we have within 30 minutes of finishing this. We'll find out. But it feels good for right now when we're taking the load off our back and off our neck. Yeah, so we've been hiking for four hours and 15 minutes so far. And yeah, we did take a lot of stops. We made a lot of stops because we were busy, busy photographing and videoing. But that's how long we've been out here. So it'll be interesting. We'll find out at the same time as you <laughs> how long this whole hike has been. That's 10 kilometers. I already had the 15,000 step go off on my Fitbit just a couple of moments ago. So we'll see and let you know how many steps this has, how many steps and how many stairs this has uh, entailed. So we'll check in. <laughs>
Okay, we're close to the end, we know that. And it's not because, you know, we're feeling elated and everything, it's because we hear the sounds of traffic. So we know that we're close to the end. And that works out really well, because we are really tired and very hungry. So lunch is gonna taste extra good for us today. Is that safe to say, honey? Me? Lunch is going to taste good. Yeah. Right? Okay. So we'll give you our numbers when we come to a stop. We're very excited because we see a parking lot. And we know that in that parking lot is our truck. Oh my goodness. This has taken a little bit longer than we thought it would. But we're here and I see the truck tucked away on the other side. So I'm quite happy about that. Okay, lunch is served soon. Okay, so the numbers are in. <laughs> we didn't give you an update immediately because we were famished. So we just uh, finished eating our sandwich and we have more lunch snacks to go through. But here's what we found out. So, Mizzy Lake is 10.8 kilometers and its rating in terms of difficulty is three out of three. So it's difficult. It suggests on this uh, brochure, which we picked up last year at the uh, uh, information booth, it takes six hours. Well, you know what? It took us five because we started at a quarter to nine and we finished at a quarter to two. So five hours. But for anybody who's considering taking Mizzy uh, Lake Trail, the reason it took us five hours is I would say that we spent at least, uh, you know, an hour, an hour and a half slowed down to take photos and videos of things. If we were just doing straight hiking, yeah, it would be as... The person at the information desk suggested three to four hours so anyway uh, it was a challenging trail for sure um, the temperature was very good I couldn't even imagine doing this one in the summertime because you're out in the open for you know large stretches um, but uh, so I'm gonna just uh, show the brochure And so its level of difficulty is a three. Okay, so the numbers are, it was just short of 20,000 steps, about 19,500 steps, 42 steps, or sorry, sorry uh, 42 stairs. And the distance was 8.5 miles. So, you know, uh, just a little over uh, 12 kilometers. It says on the map that it's 10.5 uh, or 10.8 kilometers, but anyway, it was, I guess, a little longer. I don't think we did any more meandering. But um, anyway, it's a good, challenging trail. And it was really interesting because there was a stretch that we saw out in the open where there were a lot of photographers with very large cameras. And I'll tell you, mine's heavy. Shannon has a fairly heavy camera too. These people were just sort of planted there. They're waiting for the moose, right? They're waiting for things to come out into the bog in order to uh, to have something to drink. So I'm thinking there has to be an easier way to get to where they are. But that was a really good tip for us, maybe for another time. Find an easy way in and plant yourself so that you can, because we didn't see any moose. We're sad to say we didn't see any moose, bear, wolves, uh, no big mammals. Um, but we really found the trail to be, you know, absolutely beautiful. So I guess uh, you kind of follow the lead of people who really are seasoned and know that's a good trail to go on, but there must be an easier way to get to where they planted themselves with their cameras. Anyway, we'll continue on on this journey in Algonquin. Did you have anything to add? No. I'm just eating my lunch. Turn that off. <laughs> so we're just finishing off our day at Algonquin Provincial Park. After doing our hike on Mizzy Lake Trail, uh, that's the five hour hike, 
Uh, we went on to the Algonquin Art Center and finished up at the Visitor Center. So it's about uh, 20 to 5 right now, so it'll take us, uh, you know, about another 40 minutes or so to get back to Arrowhead. So we're going to be on our way out, and we're just admiring the beauty. As you can see, the colors are just, uh, they're just a little bit farther ahead of Arrowhead, and certainly a little bit farther ahead of southwestern Ontario. So I hope you enjoyed the trek with us today. And if you did, please give it a like, and uh, certainly um, I hope you join us next week when we show you more of our Arrowhead Provincial Park uh, getaway. Bye for now.